Hello everybody, I am Alex and today we are gonna talk about this situation with the driver who am I and also who I think it is and why something seems to have gone under the radar which I've not seen anybody pick up on yet. So, do bear in mind as we go on that this is just a theory and therefore I could be completely wrong. Now, I don't think I am completely wrong, but I could be. And also, it's a theory in its infancy too, so we could develop this as it goes on. Maybe bits are right and bits are wrong. I don't know, we'll have to see. However, I do think it's something that is really interesting and also something that we should be bearing in mind as the next data mines come out in the future. Thanks BetaM for data mining all this and making all this content possible. What an absolute legend. Um, so, who do I think that this is going to be first and foremost? Well, I think it's going to be Willy the Wombat. Now, who is Willy the Wombat before we go any further? Because some of you might be there like, who the hell is this person? Well, Willy the Wombat was the original design and name for Crash Bandicoot. We could have been saying the Willy the Wombat um, Insane Trilogy, but that sounds weird. Anyway. Willy the Wombat is clearly a man who would be understandably upset for having his nose pushed out of, well, basically existence and be completely bitter about it. Maybe remember that for a little bit later on. So how exactly does my logic work? Why do I think that Beanox in these little messages they've been leaving, why do I think that we are forming up to something which is a Willy the Wombat announcement? Okay, we have currently had three messages in the data mines regarding who this character could be. So the original one was driver who am I? Then we had driver who could I be? Very, very flirtatious. Then in yesterday's data mine, we got the driver I am as important as the bandicoot, so I should be the main character. Now yesterday's message especially started to scream at me that something bigger was going on. Beanox, in my opinion, are clearly playing a bigger game than just simply teasing us with these messages. There's more behind these messages that we need to analyse closer. So this all started was when I started thinking about the sentences themselves of the three messages. So, who am I and who could I be are actually both pretty decent questions, pretty decently constructed sentences. But what kind of sentence is, I am as important as the bandicoot, so I should be the main character? Now it does make sense, but why not I am as important as Crash Bandicoot? Why as THE Bandicoot? Now in my theory, this sentence that we got um, a couple of days ago is put together primarily for cramming specific words in there rather than making actual sense and being a good English sentence. Now the second thing which sort of started triggering me a little bit was, why did they keep changing the code name? Fair enough they're dropping hints, but why keep changing it? Why introduce it and then change it every single data mine? It just screams at me that something's going on. I guess the biggest thing which weirded me out about the whole thing was the fact that this message, although we read it as separate words, is actually one big long word. Now obviously the message if you read it like that it does make sense, who could I be? But when it's just one big word in the data mine, then each of the separate words begins with a capital letter. Are we looking at it wrong? Should we, instead of reading the message, be picking the capital letters out? And for example, if we did so, could we start to construct some sort of message, maybe a message from a disgruntled Willy the Wombat to Crash Bandicoot? Can we use the letters picked out to start constructing something like that? So for this, I chose not to use the D for driver because literally every character has the name driver before their name. So I thought using the driver thing wasn't necessary. So what I did do was I picked out the capitals from the remaining messages. So for example, from who am I, the first message we got, we picked out the W for who, we picked out the A for am, and we picked out the I for I because these were all the capitalized letters in that message. For who could I be, which was obviously the second message, I picked out the W for who, the C for could, the I for I, and the B for B. Now, I'm not going to do it exactly for the next one, but from I am as important as the Bandicoot, so I should be the main character, I picked out an I, the two A's, another I, an A, a T, a B, an S, an I, an S, a B, a T, an M, and a C. It's basically all of the capitalized letters from that message apart from the word driver. Now. If we do that, can we start to form a message about these characters from Willy the Wombat to Crash Bandicoot? 
Well, we can. We can almost, or quite close, form the word Willy the Wombat from the letters we've picked out. From Willy the Wombat, we have the W and the I. We're missing the two L's in the middle, and then we have the I on the end, but missing the E. From the, we've got the T, but again, we're still missing the H and the E. But the biggest thing here is that we can almost make the word Wombat. We've got the W, we are missing the O, but we've got the M, the B, the A, and the T. It's also very similar for Crash. Now, I'm not sure exactly how the message would be formed, but we have the C, A, and S from Crash. We have the B, A, I, and C from Bandicoot. So, if the future data mines have another message, we could probably put letters in there to start to form some kind of hint that this is Willy the Wombat. The letter combination can also be mixed up, for example, if you want to put something like, I should be the main character. So main character, we can start to make those words um, by using these letters. Um, and hint, hint, what did they write in the last day to mine? They wrote main character. So I think there is something in this. Basically, what I'm saying is that by taking all of the capitalized letters and using them in one way or another, we can start to construct a message about Willy the Wombat in this game. Obviously, it's a bit of a sketchy message so far, we're missing key bits, but with the future data mines, those bits could be filled. Another thing which suggests that this character probably, well, could be Willy the Wombat, is the final message itself. That message we got in the last data mine could have easily have been written by a bitter Willy the Wombat. Remember what I said, he'd probably be quite upset he was sort of forgotten by everybody. Let's just read it in some form of bitchy voice. I am as important as the Bandicoot, so I should be the main character. Like, if you're upset, you're gonna be pretty angry. This is an angry, bitchy message. Can I say bitchy? I don't know. Now I accept that this theory definitely has its limitations, and you know, it could be completely wrong. I could just be dragging letters out and filling them in words because it fits. But I guess what will really tell us if this theory has legs or not is probably the next data mine. What is that message gonna be in the next data mine? Because if we can start to fill more gaps in a message between Willy the Wombat and Crash Bandicoot, I'd say it's got legs. If they just announced the character, then it definitely has not. Anyway, do let me know what you think to this theory down in the comment section below. And also feel free to share it around, ask your friends, see what they think. I'm sure it'll be split. Some people will think I am talking absolute crap but some people will think maybe there is something to this. I guess time will tell. Also, if you have enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I am Alex, and thank you so much for joining me today.